What's up guys, this is Jamie from Huron, South Dakota. Just thought I'd give you guys a rundown on what my daily driver is here and what we carry on a daily basis. So hang around and we'll get right to it. Alright guys, so if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen what this is normally what I wear on a daily basis on the job site. Uh, basically I only have two setups right now. I run uh, this one for pretty much everything except roofing. We have just a simple pouch that we use for that. Nothing fancy. They get wore out too fast to try and invest any money in those. So, But as far as this goes, it starts off with the, the Diamondback 701 vest. Super, super good vest. Just love it. Hang got enough good things to say about it. Um, changed a few things on mine. Added the uh, GoPro mount up here so I can carry my GoPro right here and get some good footage. Uh, added the, took the Diamondback logo sewed on part that was up here and moved it down here because you couldn't see it because it was so far up there. Um, <clears throat> but this has been my favorite part of the whole. This has been the, my favorite part of my whole setup right here. Saved my back, saved my hips, just a, just a godsend. Just couldn't do it and work without it anymore. The only one thing that uh, anybody complains about it, it is a little warmer, but you gotta take the good with the bad sometimes. Come down here, basically I run the uh, DeWalt construction pouches. They're a nice set of bags, they're not too bad. I got a, I've had three of these setups now with the just the DeWalt pouches. It's the first time I've used them on the Diamondback vest though. So basically, on a daily basis, I carry my left hand snips, right hand snips. I use the DeWalt ones. I, I like those, had real good luck with them. Cheapo square. Use the adjustable speed square. I like to use these squares for my sighting when we're doing smart lap. Adjustable, you can set them to whatever lap it is you have on that project. Got the cell phone case back here keep it out of the weather if we need to I got two smaller pouches up here I usually carry the inch and five eighths sheet rock screws three inch torque screws and then I got the bag here I use the big construction lag screws got this little cheap guy right here from Walmart I keep my stick nails on that when we're framing over here I run a I love the Milwaukee tape 35 footer run almost everything Milwaukee I carry basically a cat's claw I always carry player pliers it just seems like you need them all the time all the time chalk line I use the S-wing this is one of my favorite hammers I've had yet oh, that's about it other than can't forget this. The Metabo, what is this? 18 bolt. Triple hammer. Love that thing. It's got a lot of adjustment on it. That's pretty much my setup on a daily basis. You know, you change a few things from here to there, depending on what you're doing for the job, but this is my daily driver. Alright guys, so one more thing I, I wanted to add in here. This is something I found online by accident, purely trying to keep my things as organized as I can. It's this, I'm gonna try and get it to zoom here as close as I can. Basically, it's this Husky bit holder. This thing is awesome. I carry both my two fat Milwaukee markers here. I keep all these tips, my, you know, five, or the three eighths, five sixteenths, quarter, square, Phillips, all the Torx bits all the way up to 30, because we just use them all the time. Then I got a few odds and ends tips right here. You know, I, we just do a little bit of everything all the time, so you just can't hardly... I hate it when I just throw them all in a pouch. You can't find them. You're always picking through them. I want to be able to see what I got, and I know it's there. The other thing I carry all the time is this little guy. Basically, it's just a small drill bit with uh, an inset countersunk tip on it, too. Everybody's always asking to borrow that, so I know it's a good thing to carry, but <laughs> that works out great. Use it all the time, decks all kinds of thin pieces of wood you don't want splitting out but that's basically it though all i did is zip strapped it right to my pouch here 
just to hold it on there. It's got a little clip back here too, but that way it didn't move around too much. So let me know what you think. Have a good one. Metaboy 20 or er. Then I use the Howdy.